The problem with comedy is that the media is beating you down in the thinking political correctness. You don't even have to think now. You're just programmed. You, you do something called oppression math. Do you guys know what oppression math is? That is, as a, a comic walks to the stage, you start calculating in your head how much you think his or her people have been oppressed. And based upon that is what you let them get away with. The more shit they've been through, the more shit they can talk. Okay? Let's start with black comics. I love black comedians. They are my favorites. All of them. Richard Pryor, the other ones. You know who they are. <laughs> right? They're the fucking best, man. But they can say whatever they want, and everybody laughs. Be like, white people be crazy! And white people are like, you know what? We are. <laughs> Typhoon is right. We are crazy. Because of what they've been through. We all know what they've been through, right? Get out. Anyone see that movie? Yeah. White people can be assholes. A little big assholes. There's so, white people are such assholes, hell's gonna be packed with white people. There's gonna be so many white people in hell, we're gonna gentrify hell, okay? <laughs> We're gonna make hell look like Portland, all right? Just a soy boy inferno, okay? Just, it's gonna be like a giant hipster jazz club. You ever been to a hipster jazz club? Nothing but assholes in there, right? You walk in, it looks like everybody from your yearbook staff's there, right? They all fucking, they all Shazam elevator music, right? All the women wear those dumb, like, Pharrell fucking 10 gallon hats where they look like they're all like, Sheriffs in Mexican villages solving murder mysteries, right? All the guys look like they ride unicycles to work. Because only white people like unicycles. Anyone notice this? You never see black guys on a unicycle. Why? Because you can't put rims on a unicycle. Am I right? White people have done rough shit to black community, whether it's uh, indoctrinated racism, privatized prisons, the Kardashians, okay? Look what the Kardashians have done to the black community. I mean, they're just destroying everybody. They're like sickle cell. They're killing people. <laughs> right? Nope, nobody's with me. You guys like Fat Kanye? You like Fat Kanye? You enjoy that? I've seen him in concert. It sucks. He just eats ice cream and cries about how... When's Black Lives Matter gonna protest the Kardashians? That's my fucking question. Nope, nobody's with me on that one. Black comics can make fun of everybody except for who? Gay people. Gay people are higher up on the oppression ladder. Look at Dave Chappelle, did two gay jokes. The world flipped out. Because we're sensitive about our gay friends. We all love our gay friends. But some of you people want to act like they're not the snarkiest motherfuckers in the world. <laughs> gay guys talk mad shit, man. You ever watch them on the E! Channel? You ever watch that? Like a beautiful actress walking down the red carpet and the gay guy's like, look at this, picking a blanket, right? <laughs> This is a true story. I did a gig for a guy named Fat Mike from NoFX. Anyone ever heard of Fat Mike? Uh, so I did a gig for him, and uh, I got hired to do his 50th birthday party, which in punk rock years is a thousand years old. I'm like doing Gandalf the White Wizard's birthday party. So I show up to this birthday party, and it's at a BDSM club by LAX. And I walk in, and it's nothing but cross-dressers and leather daddies. So how some of you ladies been w looking at me the whole night? That's how I was looking at them, like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> and I go up on stage, and I am bombing. I am bombing, but to make it worse, I'm getting heckled by a cross-dressing minotaur, okay? <laughs> I look out, and I see this guy with a giant Jufro, devil horn implants, all black contacts, full beard, and a wedding dress. And every time one of my jokes bombs, he yells, I want to fuck you in the ass! I literally thought I was in Narnia, okay? I was about to get prison raped by the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe, okay? <laughs> Gay comics can make fun of everybody except for who? Big chicks, big women. Here's where everybody gets quiet. First of all, let me say I love big chicks. I'm from the 607, okay? That's all we got are big ladies. I love big women for a couple reasons. One, they're sexy, okay? Two, if you're losing a fight, they'll jump in, all right? <laughs> Women can do anything that men can do, except for take a joke. Am I right, guys? Yeah, ladies, get quiet on that one, right? Guys, guys, how many times your girlfriend made fun of you and everyone's like, ha, 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 And then you make fun of your girlfriend, suddenly you're sleeping on the couch, or as I call it, pussy jail, okay? I love women, but I've learned a lot living in LA, and this is what I've learned watching television, that crimes against women, children, animals, horrible, horrific things. Crimes Against Men, America's Funniest Home Videos. 
You ever watch that show? It's literally a felony with a laugh track, right? Let's punch dad in the nuts. Let's say grandpa's beard on fire. Hey, everybody, look. Uncle Roscoe's getting humped by a llama, right? $5,000. I did a show in Las Vegas, man. I got off stage, this woman run up, ran up to me, and she goes, I got to tell you, you're creepy as shit. So I told her, you're going to die alone, okay? She started crying. I got rock hard, because I love comedy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big chicks who make fun of everybody except for who? Little people. Little people at the top of the oppression ladder. They're the Christmas star on the oppression Christmas tree. And I don't even know why. I've never oppressed a little person in my life. Every time you see a little person, you just want to hug them and ask them where their pot of gold is, right? In LA, every little person is famous. Every single one of them. They walk in, you're like, hey, you're in Game of Thrones. Hey, you're in Cirque du Soleil. Hey, you're in that porno where you bang regular chicks. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're a fat, black, gay midget, you can scorch the earth, man. You can drop N-bombs, call everybody fuckboys. I mean, look at Kevin Hart. He's only two of those, you know what I'm saying? 